So we're about three miles east of Estes Park in Big Thompson Canyon. And I wanted to show you one other uh, important rock type that's found in the canyon. And that's this granite that we see here. And we call it the silver plume granite throughout the front range. And we've talked about the metamorphism and the white granite. Specifically, it should be called a tonalite. Plus, the pegmatites, I suspect, are also that same age. And so there was a major period of metamorphism, intrusion of that white granite, and perhaps the pegmatite as well. And that all occurred at about 1.7 billion years ago. However, this granite here, the silver plume granite, is distinctly younger. And it's about 1.4 billion years old. So it's about 300 million years younger. We believe that it formed through crustal melting and the tectonic setting where we get vast quantities of crustal melts to produce big granite batholiths like this is in major collisions, potentially a continental collision. However, finding uh, solid evidence for crustal thickening, which involves deformation, has yet to be identified. And it's an area of ongoing research trying to identify if there was an additional mountain building event at 1.4 billion years ago associated with the intrusion of the silver plume granite here. So I talked about the 1.7 billion old white granite and I said specifically it should be called a tonalite and that's because it doesn't have enough alkali feldspar or potassium feldspar in order to be called a true granite. But the silver plume granite in many locations is a true granite, meaning that it has about equal proportions of quartz, alkali feldspar or potassium feldspar, same thing, and plagioclase. Additionally, we also see biotite and muscovite in this rock as well. At other localities, we looked at sills and dikes and stocks as well. And this outcrop is part of a huge batholith of this silver plume granite. And a batholith is a blob-shaped, very large pluton. So it's similarly blob-shaped like a stock, but stocks are relatively small, batholiths are big. And much of the rock actually in Rocky Mountain National Park is part of the same batholith and includes Bighorn Mountain, Deer Mountain, Long's Peak, and Lumpy Ridge. And then when we look at the geologic map, you can just see how extensive and blob-shaped this intrusion of the silver plume granite is.